Hey friends, welcome back to the Krusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make lures all that fun stuff alright so uh, today we're gonna do this one is number CC067 and I'm calling him Krusty Bones and this is a fun little lure it looked really cool when I first did the first one so I thought well, I'm gonna do one of these and uh, show everybody it's a pretty simple bait um, really we're gonna use uh, two colors we're gonna use obviously we use titanium white to prime this bait up and we're going to use um, wicked pearl white for the base on top of the base and then we're going to use some opaque black so it's pretty cool and then I'm going to show you a little finishing technique that I'm going to do to it and uh, let's get started all right so I already got her primed up Let's get some pearl white on it. Didn't do any pearl white yet. Actually primed up a bunch with white last night. So I got a bunch of crawl patterns that I've been playing around with stencils. And uh, anxious to show them to you. Some different stencils probably that... Uh, some different crawl patterns that... that I haven't done yet a little green in there from the last video but I got it all out that's no big deal it happens This one's going to be a, be a fast one. Okay, let's hit that again with a little more pearl white. I actually went in and uh, put a little more white in the in the brush and hit that spot where I got the green on it a little bit. Flush my brush out a little bit more. Normally I'll uh, after running in a, a a dirty color through there I'll usually clean it out with white just to make sure but I made that video yesterday and got to clean it out real good before I got started on this one so no big deal you can always go back with a little more white cover it up a little bit She looks good as new. Okay, that should just about do it for the pearl white. All right, let me uh, get this pearl white out of here and uh, get my stencil on, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, got my little bone stencil on here. 
do the one last check make sure everything's still stuck down I've used this a couple times so usually after a few times they don't want to stick anymore okay we're just going to give it a little light spray make sure we get down in all those little fine spots give a little heat set and let's give it a reveal pretty cool pretty cool all right let me get the other side on there all right got the other side on there let's get this turned around this way give it one little more rub just to make sure it's all the way down on there That yeah, looks cool. All right, stick this. I usually stick my stencils, so you guys know. I usually stick them right back on. That way, I can keep them clean for the most part and get oh, usually four or five uses out of them before I have to make another one but it's cheap and I can cut them real quick it doesn't take long alright let's give him a little more dressing here I'm going to go right on the nose and a little bit around the eye. Just like so. All right, got some cool eyes picked out for him. Uh, let me dry this and uh, I'll bring you back and we'll put the eyes on it and we're not done with this yet I'm going to show you a little technique that I use when I epoxy so bring you right back okay for eyes on crusty bones here we're going to use these big black pupils with kind of a light it's got a light greenish blue tint to it and I've done one of these once before so I know I like the way this eye turns out on this particular color scheme Gives him a nice big bold eye. Okay.
always look at it from the front that just really can tell you a lot if you got the eye in the right position there it is Mr. Bones Mr. Krusty Bones okay we're gonna let that eye drop that eye dry a little bit for a minute and then I'm gonna take you into the epoxy room and we're gonna spread some epoxy on this guy okay guys uh, thought I would take you through because I get questions all the time about my epoxy and how I finish my lures and everything so I first um, thought I'd tell you a little bit about what I do as far as finishing and and uh, we'll talk about it while we're doing this guy all right so um, what I use is called solar res and it's a fast clear strong UV cure and it hardens in three minutes when exposed to sunlight so I'll show you my little booth when we get ready to running through um, but the thing I like about it the most is is like this cup has been sitting here for probably about an hour or two and I don't have to worry about it drying out getting hard or anything I got plenty of working time with it and then I can dry it as soon as I want to um, so that really helps out when I'm doing a bunch of baits um, and uh, yeah so solar res that's what I'm using um, Right now I'm going to take and put a little bit of this black flake in here and I use this black flake in my rubber baits that I make and we'll do some videos on those and the and how I make those but let's finish this guy up um, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this black flake in here and it doesn't take very much all right, so now I got I got my black flake in there. I'm gonna stir it up, and I got these little brushes, cheap brushes from Walmart. You can get in the package, about 30 of them for a couple bucks. And we're gonna put two coats on this guy, but the first coat we're gonna do is the black flake. Okay, so the nice thing about this stuff is I can dip it, or I can brush it on, so. We're gonna brush this on and get a little black flake on it. Just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. And then we're gonna hang it and let it sit for a little bit just to get the air bubbles out. And that's another thing is I can, I can hang this thing and I can leave it sit all night long and I don't have to worry about it. Once I stick it in the booth, dry it in a matter of three minutes now normally I'll do 30 minutes dry time curing time just to give me a nice solid um, solid finish that I can touch right away um, but usually in 30 minutes in three minutes it's dry and it's solid So first coat I'm going to put on is going to be with the flake and the second will be a dip and I'll show you both processes but we're going to put this flake on here and I'm going to let it hang for a few just to get the air bubbles out let the epoxy smooth down. it's it's kind of tacky feeling but the more you brush over it it, it uh, you can move it around most of the time if unless I'm doing something like this I dip them I dip the whole lure bill and all on most bills now like long bills like deep divers and stuff I don't dip the whole bill on those but most of my crankbaits I do um, and I know some people think it affects the action I haven't had any complaints and I haven't had 
any problems. The action is just as good with this epoxy on it. Um, so, got her all flaked up. This lure looks cool. I'm going to let him hang for a few. Then I'm going to put him in the booth and I'll bring you back when I get ready to do that. Okay, so uh, solar res, that's what I'm using. Everybody's asking. Um, I've used this for almost three years now. I've banged a lot of baits off the rocks. Um, I've never had one chip. I've never had one crack. Um, I mean, they use it to, for surfboards and boats and automotive and hobby stuff. And it's, it's pretty good stuff. I mean, the, I have the confidence in it. That's why I use it. So um, here it's been, we've been hanging for about 30 minutes now. It's still tacky, but it's all kind of smoothed out a little bit. And um, we're going to put it in the booth. And I will show you my booth. Um, I have a little kind of a handmade little rig here that I hook it on to. Now you do have to be careful touching it. You can't touch the bait or anything because you will leave a spot in it. So here we are got it on my little rig and let me move you over and show you the booth okay I apologize for the furnace running it's 17 degrees outside and uh, the furnace is running all day um, but this is my drying booth it's called a Sun Lu and I can get about four baits in there I've got a little rig that, that'll hold four baits at once, and it keeps it pretty balanced. If I do four or two, I just balance it out. My timer is set at 600 seconds, so that is 10 minutes. I do three times in the booth. And that gives me a 30 minute dry time. Now, um, I'll do 30 minutes, and then I'll dip the bait again, and I'll do another 30 minutes. Now, the nice thing about the Solar Res is that I can be out in this LED light, and I don't have to worry about, you know, drying with a drip on it or anything like that. If it gets a drip, I can still just kind of wipe the drip off before I put it in the booth. But once it's in the booth, after the first 10 minutes, it's solid it's dry you can touch it um, I don't like to because it, it leaves fingerprints because it's still kind of uh, it hasn't cured all the way it's there but it hasn't cured all the way so I'll do 30 minutes and then I'll usually hang it for 24 hours and just let it go it's dry dry enough to touch um, but I found out that you know the fingerprints if you're not careful you, you can leave some fingerprints in it if it don't sit for about 24 hours. But, uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna run this one for 30 minutes and then I'll bring you back and we'll dip it again. Okay, we're winding down. This is the, this is the third spin. This will be 30 minutes. Um, so I thought I'd give you a minute and talk about the box. It's a Sun Lu, uh, got it on Amazon. I think it was around 90, around 99 bucks. 100 bucks, something like that, plus some change. Um, I've probably run over a thousand baits through this thing in the last three years. Uh, in March, it'll be three years I've been doing baits, and uh, I've had it ever since I started. Um, like I said, I've run probably close to a thousand baits through this thing, um, and it spins constantly when I'm busy. When I'm really busy this thing's constantly spinning it has a timer on it I could disconnect the timer and just run it straight and it'll stay on for 30 minutes an hour whatever I want it to but um, it, it works fine for me because the timer that lets me know that I've at least got my 30 minutes in there I can keep track of it like I said I can do 
four baits. Um, I'm probably going to get a taller booth because when I start doing bigger swim baits, it's going to need a little more height. So, uh, you know, I'll be probably investing in a smaller one. But it's small. I can push it back out of the way. And um, it just it just works great for me. And for, you know, for a home hobby bait painter, it's perfect. Um, I can push it back out of the way when I'm done. And, uh, yeah. So, Sun Lu, there's probably other brands out there, but um, that's the brand I'm using, and it's worked great for me. So, um, simple little box with the UV light in it. I don't need a big old, uh, big old box, at least at this point. Like I said, I'll probably get a bigger setup once I uh, start doing my bigger swim baits that I'm working on. Um, get ready to make molds and stuff for those, so be doing a lot of videos on that too um, but let's put this second coat on here um, let me move the camera over and we'll put the second coat on and we'll finish this video up okay so uh, if you buy solar as well, this is this stuff like because I know everybody's probably gonna ask me how long does it last um, this is my second round container and going like I said going on three years in March will be three years I've been making baits um, so um, this is my second container that I've had and just before Christmas I bought this one um, and it I was a little disappointed because now they're shipping it in in these cord um, like oil uh, containers is what I call them um, so if you're fortunate enough to get one of these in a round container like this keep it because it's perfect for what we're doing right now is dipping baits and I'm sorry I threw my other one away um, and, but I, will, I probably have to hang on to this uh, some of the things I like about the solar res obviously I said some things before um, I like the fact that I don't have to worry about it drying out. In this black container, I can put the lid on it, and it's good. I've so I've used this is my third fill up. So it's, one of these have lasted me for a year, and like I said, I've probably done over a thousand baits through this thing. Um, so if you're fortunate enough to get a container like this, don't throw it away because they might ship your next order and something like that. And this works fine for pouring into the cups because as you can see here's here's what we had earlier this thing's been sitting out for a couple hours and it's still plenty workable so I got a little cardboard box that I stick this in and as long as it's out of the light um, it's not going to get hard on you it's still good enough that I can spread it really easy so that's one of the benefits I like about the solar res is I don't waste a lot because I mean I can save it but I've only put you know maybe a tablespoon in there and I could probably do five six more baits with just what I got in this little cup um, and it don't like I said it don't dry out on me so I ain't got to worry about 30 minute dry time or five minute dry time it's still plenty workable and the flake still moves around in there real good this little brush ain't even dried out um, now I'm under U, um, LED lighting so that's got something to do with it because the UVs and the LED lighting are very low um, so let's dip this guy do I need to put a second coat on it well probably not this bait looks fine as it is but I can still feel my glitter in there. So I'd like to seal that glitter in a, a little better. Um, so now I'm gonna dip it and uh, I'll let it hang for about tw 20 minutes, maybe a half hour. And I'll come back in and I'll run it through the booth and then we'll bring you back and show you um, what the finished lure looks like. Um, so let me get this thing open and we'll, we'll dip this bait and hang it.
like I said, don't throw away a container if you get a container like this. Um, because it's so, so easy to just pop this top back on here and it's great for dipping. I am going to use a drip line. I use paper clips as my hooks. And another thing, if you're dipping, twist this in so it don't come off the paper clip on you. Um, I'm going to dip this guy down in there. Sink it all the way down past the bill. Stick, leave it in there for a minute. Let it soak some of that up. Pull it out. And let it drain. Then I have a drip pan over there. And hooks in the wall. That they hang from. I always hang them with the bill up. Because it's easier to clean the big clot of epoxy off the bottom hook. And I'll put a drip line on it. Um, I have a little Dremel bit that fits right through there without grinding on the uh, the hook ties. Um, so that's how I clean out the uh, ties. And once it's dripped to about like that, I'll leave it hang. Like I said, for another probably 20 minutes or so. Depends on how busy I am. But um, I'll let it drip and let that epoxy smooth out, get the air bubbles out. Really, this stuff's really nice because you don't get a lot of air bubbles. Um, and if I if I have better air bubbles, I can just take a tor my torch um, and just get the air bubbles out with the heat. Um, some of the other things that I have used, I've used the Krylon UV re resistant clear, and I've used the clear mat. And to me, I've used the KBS as well. KBS dried up on me because it was hard to seal the container and keep all the air out of it. Um, which is another plus with the solar res and um, the UV clears sprays they'll work but I just like the confidence I get knowing that my baits are good and coated and look really nice and they have a strong uh, solid coating on them and like I said I've banged them off the rocks and drug them through rocky areas and gravel and I've never had one chip, never had one crack, never had the paint coming off. Um, it seals the eyes in really well. Um, just, just to me, it's one of the best, the best coatings you can use for your baits. Um, it's about thirty bucks for a quart, and like I said, a quart lasted me for a year. Um, on the second, third quart, third almost three years so um you know for as many baits as i've put through it's it's been very affordable for me and the ease and convenience of just snapping the lid back on and as long as it's in this black container um now if you use it and you get that and you put it in a clear container it's probably going to get hard and 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 then you're going to waste it so it has to be out of the light has to be this stuff is light sensitive um, they do give you a little catalyst that you can put in there if you want it to dry faster and just want to air dry it there's a catalyst you can add to this that'll help air dry um, but I have no reason to do that I like the flexibility of taking my time with it and doing a nice coating so uh, yeah hope that answers everybody's questions you know on what I'm using for epoxy um, this is it right here and they don't sponsor me or anything so um, I'm really just telling you guys this for your benefit um, but solar res is, is what I chose to go with and you know everybody's got different opinions on coatings uh, but this has always worked for me and if it's working don't change it right all right, so I'll get this bait dried up, and I'll bring you back, and we'll finish this video. Okay, friends, we're back. Here's the finished crusty bones, 
and uh, turned out pretty good. That's with two coats of epoxy. Hope you guys enjoyed the epoxy training or lack thereof. Um, but yeah, that's that's how mostly I epoxy my baits. And you can see how shiny the bill is. I know some people don't like to epoxy the bill, but this leaves a nice protection on it and uh, doesn't really, I don't think, affects the swim pattern of the bill. Um, but there she is, crusty bones. All right, uh, so colors we used today was titanium white, wicked pearl white, and opaque black for the for the bone stripes, a little shadow around the face. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and ring that notification bell so you get notified when we got an our next video coming up so um, stay tuned and always remember stay crusty my friends